searching for MongoDB Express CRUD application on YouTube and finding some articles, but uh, I have not found anything special. So I, I decided to create a tut uh, tutorial on it. And um, so yeah, uh, we got uh, this VS code. So we're gonna start the application. Uh, create the application actually so what we are going to do we are going to create a simple CRUD application uh, with node.js and mongodb but without using any database ORM like mongoose or something so we'll be using native mongodb npm package so let's go to terminal and uh, let me just increase a bit its font maybe a bit more Okay, so what we do here, npm init, so like to simply create a package, npm init y, we use this command. Okay, now we have this. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a maybe go to package.json and a main file, let's call it app.js. And here let's install npm install express mongodb cuns my course we need this and and and, and yeah and we I already have nodemon but you can install nodemon just in case if you want and uh, yeah that's it for now hit enter and let's see yeah I have one thing I forget we also need that. <clears throat> so it's it's installing and we will in create app.js file in the meantime and we'll create uh, the basic express application then uh, we also need CORS here and we need maybe a path here we need dot env which we need to install yet and let's install the npm install dot env and and yeah, I, I, I think I already have MongoDB. So let's just do this. And here, create a file config.env. And here, say port equal to 5000. Mongo URI equal to. Let me show you how you can get Mongo URI. So if we go to, like, we need MongoDB. Uh, either on local or on cloud. So I'm going to use MongoDB for the cloud. So I'll sign in. I am already signed in. You need to create your account and you need to create free cluster. Uh, if you don't have, like you can create free cluster from here. And you will see here shared. So when you click on the shared uh, thing, it will be free. Uh, and that way you can, you will be able to create your cluster. So, so you need a MongoDB, like a database cluster to create multiple databases. <coughs> but i already have this uh, cluster so that's why i don't need to create it again so i'll go to my uh, cluster so this is my current cluster that i have so there are some settings that that you need to do so uh, first of all we uh, first of all let me show you the network access so click on network access and you need to whitelist your ip address so i have whitelisted my ip address and also uh, this IP address it means anyone can uh, from the world can connect my database for now so 
let's go to the database access so here you can see uh, you need to have your username so I am a username and password and uh, this is my username boss 740 and also if you don't remember password you can edit your password here you already have password and I know that so if you go to the databases now and uh, we, the first thing that you need to do is you click on this connect button and let me maybe zoom in a bit maybe so you need to click on connect and after you click connect connect your application and you need to copy this connection string so i let's copy this connection string so i copy this i close it now i go to my vs code and here i'll paste this connection string in the environment variable and here i'll write my a database password one to one okay and i'll select here my database let's pull here articles okay the name of database is articles and then let's uh, save it go to the package json and also here uh, let's let me create a script node on app.js and go to the app.js again and here we have that string so let's uh, config okay that's how we config uh, create like i mean we uh, in the dot net dot env config we point to the uh, file where we have those environment variables which is this because we'll be accessing this and i'll tell you how fill the container file please compare the with the file container it's wrong Able to save this MongoDB Express card. Okay, whatever. Uh, now and also now, what we do? We have this. So we will create the app variable like this. And for now, we don't use app.express.json right here because we will not be using this here. So what we will do actually, and I also need to uh, like do this port. So what we're going to do is say process .port or 5000. So we'll get from that uh, environment variables or it will connect here. And now here, I'm going to say mongo we need to have mongo client i guess because we will be connecting to our mongodb database and for that we will also uh, import here mongo client is equal to require mongo client and now we'll connect database here and here we'll say so yes, we need to have Mongo URI, and for that we will say process dot dot Mongo URI, and let's say Mongo client dot connect, and we pass URI, and this is an asynchronous function, and we'll get here client if we get a success message. Uh, if we are successfully connected this would be the callback then and uh, we say here uh, connected to database and then after uh, this we will uh, do that like connect to database and then here is the add dot listen that's correct uh, the port, whatever this was the port, and then we'll use the console log. Uh, so let's 
server running whatever port it is okay and then what we'll say here we will uh, select the db so we have client dot db and the name of the database i told you it would be articles and also we need to uh, select the collections and for that we also use articles and db dot collection articles as well as the name of the database and then what we need to do uh, actually uh, before we even start uh, listening to it uh, we need to do some things prior to listening and that is app.use express listen and even on top of it app.use calls just in case if we need it if we are trying to create a website I mean trying to connect from the website and <clears throat> then we can do that and uh, yeah one thing i forget here it's you know it's a, a synchronous function so it will connect or it may not connect so then we will write here the catch block so that if we have error we will then uh, like uh, do whatever we want to do with the error so for that we will simply here uh, if we have the error we can simply say console log Mm, or whatever not message okay now we have this app rule and now you know we want to create the first article create a new article for that app dot post articles and for creating the articles we will do here no, I mean, this is for the request coming from the client, and on this request, we want to create articles. And you know, we have this articles that insert one, so this is how we create the article in MongoDB. So we'll create article according to what we have from in request.body, okay? And also, we can have error, or we or if we are successful, then we'll get the result. So here, we'll check if we have error <clears throat> we will not uh, if we have error so it's it's not that we will um what do i say we will just console log we'll say here response dots actually it's not good so we actually let me use the that uh, async await thing so articles dot insert one request dot body then after this, let's say we get the result. And if you get the result, you must say response dot status 201. Because when you create a new resource, you do that. Here just do success true. And if we have an error which we catch here in that case we send a error message to simply calling success fox what's wrong with this sometimes this uh, and if you are wondering why i am getting this auto complete thing so it's uh, an extension that i'm using it's called tab 9 and yeah this one so you need you can install this tab 9 extension so that's why it helps you sometimes it's irri irritating but yeah it helps you okay uh, here we say success false if i mean if we are not able to connect what's wrong okay i told you i just create problems sometimes Still not correct. What the hell? Hmm. 
Hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, it was one dot that was creating this problem. Okay, here uh, we do our thing. If we have the error, this is it's called that status. Yes. Okay. Okay, and uh, yeah, this is for creating new article. How we can create? I'll tell you. Let's just first let me write, write all the routes. So here you see uh, we have uh, saying get or, 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 or articles actually, and same thing request response callback, and here we'll say like articles. Yeah, and it's hectic. Fine, so yeah, no, nothing is the, is the query. Then we'll say to array, and then will be the result. Results actually, and then we'll say here status two hundred. And now data you know, say results. Okay. And this is when it is connected. So it may not connect. I mean it, it may not get succeed. In that case, we will have an error. And if we have error, we're gonna do the same thing here. Mm, six is five. Okay. So that's how we get the articles. And now let's suppose if we want to delete the articles, I'm not going to do something related to ID because um, uh, that's not, that is not the purpose of this uh, tutorial. It's just simple. So here what we do, update a, 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 you can say an article. So app dot put articles again request response and he'll say okay now a interesting thing is that uh, we need to give some query to update so there is a function called find one and update that comes with mongodb client whatever we're using here and we need to pass first option here and the first option would be the query and let's suppose we want uh, you can say title, some title, which comes from the body, and say request our title body, and then this is the first, uh, I would say, um, query, and the second option would be the actual update, and we what we want, we want to change the name of the author for a specific title, so we can say I author, change it and get from the body like from the client or whatever client we'll be using and then the last option would be is that we have to we can use this as well it's called absurd so uh, we use it is that if it's like if uh, the data is not found already then it will create just in case uh, so again catch response dot status okay success files if it is not created and yeah that's uh, for updating and now, now let's do that delete thing with natural app dot delete and also what we want here let's I mean don't delete it by its ID and also do the same thing as I'm telling you like delete it by its uh, uh, title maybe so yeah um, here we'll say articles dot delete one and here again we can need to pass the query the 
pastor body dot title whatever it gets as the title and then i will say uh yeah it's when it's deleted then the callback function would be the result whatever result would be it's not our concern if it is deleted then we will go to this callback and we'll simply say this success is true and if not like delete done then then if not and then we we'll try to catch the error so all you need to do is because you always can have the error okay success forms okay yeah so that is all the uh, routes now we can use postman and other client uh, for create like to connect uh, with to send the request to send all these http request but uh, we also uh, like your for now or i say this vs code also have the uh, an extension that we can use as a client so it's called thunder client let me go to that yeah see there thunder client and before we go to thunder client let's start the application actually it was npm run dev that was what we define in packages and so we have an error url is not defined yeah it's not url it's uri here it's not let's try let's see again if we are trying to connect <coughs> okay authentication failed let me check yeah i think it is admin one one Two, two, two password and also we need to restart it after we update we need to restart it manually after we update the environment variable <sighs> okay uh, let's check it out we'll wait for the database to connect okay so App dot put is not a function yet. that's correct so we need to change this there's no put function in express yes app this again. so these are all four routes that we need to use routes are the uh, same but we need to change the methods okay now let's create a new request here uh, let's do let's post say http localhost 5000 and articles first of all let's try to get okay so we have success but we don't have any data because we have not created any article yet so let's create a single article that would be json uh, author of the article is like anyone john doe and article title is first article that's it for now so we send Okay, so we it means it's a success so one is created before we check how many uh, are created let's create another title let's call it second title and here the name of the author will be jane doe send again yeah third uh, for the same author okay see now we the articles are created and now let's see if we can get the articles 
See, we get all those three articles that are created. And now let's try to check the put thing that if we can change the name of the articles. Remember, so we were in the put method, we were trying to uh, change the, uh, the author, we were trying to, do, uh, to change the author based on the title of the article. So let's go there. So let's, I mean, third article, you know, is created by um, Jane. So you want to change the article, the author for this article. Let's suppose, and I say that this is mine. So here you can see that third article is created by author. So let's, if I now put this put thing, let's see what happened. I think it's not creating, maybe something wrong with my, yes, it's fine because I am not sending the response once the update thing is done yeah i'm not sending with then i'm not sending response that's why the request is hang okay so we need to stop the server but i think the it it was done but because i'm not sending the response that's why uh, so here to <clears throat> send the response Mm, 200 mm, success to now and let's start it again and just to let you know i mean to show you if you go to get request let's wait for the database to connect and then we will go into that uh, that uh, get request and i'll show you that uh, the this data would have an effect See that the author is changed. Okay, so it means that was changed. And just to uh, show you here, you see, Jane Doe has also created second article. I also want to change the uh, the author for this guy. So let's do this second article. Now you see, um, yeah, I, I think it's yeah get we need to do this put. Yeah, you see, we get a success response, and now if we try to get, <clears throat> see here, the uh, this is done. And now uh, let's check for the delete. What were the what was the query that we were passing? <clears throat> okay, so it will delete based on the title. So let's suppose here we have first, second, and third uh, uh, title, like the three articles. So let's create uh, delete this guy the article with the title of second article. So let's delete and we have to change the method here, delete. And the routes would be the same and let's try. We get a success message. So let's see what we get. If we now try to get all the articles and I'll see we will have two articles because the article with the second uh, article title was deleted, you know, here. Okay, so yeah, that's it for now. And I have uh, pushed this code to my GitHub and uh, the github link will be uh, in the description of the video and you can check it thank you very much bye